Welcome into the Fun Astrology Podcast. TGI Friday, July 7th. Thomas Miller, thank you so much for being right here. Yeah, appreciate it. We're going to set up the weekend. We will be doing Ray Merriman. I presume he will be doing this coming weekend. I haven't heard otherwise, but we'll be here if he is. One observation that I wanted to tack on to this pile of stuff that we've talked about this week. I mean, it's been a busy week, right, with this super yacht in the sky. Still there. Oh, yes, we'll be all month. Neptune and Pluto on the base, and then Venus and Mars up at the top. But here's the other deal. What's the oracle planet right now? The one that comes up last before the sun? Uranus. Mercury moved over to the other side of the sun. <laughs> so the other thing that's interesting about this is that Uranus is way up in the sky before the sun comes up. East Coast times Uranus is rising, crossing the ascendant point at around 3 a.m. And sunrise these days is about just shy of 6.30. So Uranus in Taurus is the planet that is announcing to the world that the sun comes up. You know, the oracle planet is really a natal chart kind of thing. You move your birth time back to the sunrise point and you look at the chart from that configuration and see which planet crosses the ascendant just before the sun. And often it's they're right there together. But here is a big gap. And I just think that makes Uranus stronger. I mean, it is bold and up in the sky saying, ha ha, surprise, or be individualistic, or don't tell me what to do, whatever the characteristic of that day is from Uranus. I think this is one of these little subtleties that we can just season these daily charts with, but it is something to keep in mind. And I don't know, guys, I've just, you know, after what we talked about yesterday, and then the Yod, and then... Stuff going on, you know, they're talking about this nuclear thing in Ukraine. And it's like, I bet, I bet, yeah. hello, Uranus. And today, Uranus is about seven degrees away from the midpoint of the sun and the moon. So Uranus and the luminaries midpoint are basically together. So that just adds a little bit more punch to the whole thing today. How long will Uranus be rising before the sun? It goes up to about mid-August. Then Venus in retrograde will catch up and take over that position. And then it stays that way where other planets, Mercury goes in retrograde in August and it will move back. Then Mars moves, the sun moves ahead of Mars. So we'll have other planets. This will really be it for Uranus. But we also get Pluto and Saturn as we approach even into 2024. So it is going to shift. But for right now, for about another, what, six weeks, we have Uranus rising before the sun. Now, <laughs> here's some more interesting stuff, right? Because speaking of early morning sky, 1254 this morning, East Coast time, Mercury sextiles Uranus. Well, Mercury's only seven degrees ahead of the sun, so does that mean the sun also sextiles Uranus? Well, not today, be next week, but it is within orb. Now, tomorrow's interesting. Couple of things regarding the moon. At 11.20 tomorrow morning, the moon conjoins Neptune. What was one of the planets on the base of that yod? Neptune. So the base of the yacht is joined by the moon. So moon, Neptune on one base, Pluto on the other. Shoot that up to Venus and Mars. Robert and I talked about the yacht. The, one of the most recent episodes is a two-part series on yachts. Really good insight in there. Now, transiting yachts are different, but this thing is with us all month. So we'll have to just watch and observe how the moon interacting with now Neptune, then in a couple of days, Pluto at the base of this before it swings around about a week later and hits the top. So the moon is punching all of these points right now. It will do it three or four more times before this yod is complete. And did we mention Neptune? Mercury trines it Sunday morning, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, a.m. So between today and Sunday, we have Mercury in two favorable aspects, a sextile with Uranus and a trine with Neptune. So watch your surprises and your revelations. At least they are set to be positive and they'll be interacting with your mind. I mean, you'll be processing it mentally and emotionally because remember, Mercury is still in Cancer, not out yet. That's next Tuesday. But on the positive side of this yod, we could have some very inspirational, positive, cool surprises come our way maybe this weekend. 
If the shadow side predominates on this yacht, or for the collective, shall we say, it could be something that has a silver lining, but it might not be so pretty up front. But I'm kind of thinking with Luna sliding in here next to Neptune, and then Pluto in a couple of days, between one of those or in between, maybe we'll get some idea of what this yacht's intentions might be. We'll see. Planning to be here tomorrow with Ray, and I'll see you back here again on Monday. Have a great day. Bye-bye.